just say I'm germ aware. Truth is, can you really count on this? Odds are, this is just a reminder of what may not actually happen when they're in the restroom. So I have observations on life, and I like to say I'm a little, or I guess a lot more germ aware. Truth is, employees exit restrooms, but are they really washing their hands the right way? Who knows? They go back in the kitchen, and they prepare your meal. Let's take our chances, right? So today I want to talk to you a little bit about my observations in a world that I consider filled with germs, but it doesn't scare me. You know, this is an example of what you might find, and uh, hopefully the uh, workers in a restaurant would uh, open the door that way. It makes some of us who are germ aware feel a little more normal when there's actually a trash can by the door. We all see that at a lot of restrooms, right? It's almost like we're in the club that's normal. When you get to the table, that's no picnic either. Think about those condiments. If they're like a Petri dish, you don't know what's growing on them. I know, it's scary, right? Let's just say it really helped me cut back on my salt habit. Now, lemons. These lemons, we all like them in a slice of, uh, a slice of lemon in our water or a beverage. What I don't want in my drink is fecal matter. It's true. It's true. You guys have your smartphones? Google it for yourself. You'll be shocked. But my real pet peeve is when you get to a fast food joint and they store the plasticware like that with the handles facing down, how could you possibly get your fork or spoon without touching somebody else's? Which means, of course, yours was touched by somebody as well. But you know what? It doesn't stop me. I like a good meal. Trust me. This, this is uh, pretty scary. And people say vegetables are good for you. This is how I avoid it. The bottom line is you really don't know what's out there. You can't let it freak you out. You just got to take your chances and live your life. Unless, of course, you're at the airport. When you end up at the airport standing in the same spot as thousands of others have done before you, and you're barefoot, it really takes something out of meeting with the TSA. It's just not fun. And of course, as you continue your trip, you might likely end up at a hotel. That's a remote control. You can only imagine the adult action that that remote has seen. Yeah. And there's a good chance that there's some DNA left behind on that remote. Yeah. Trust me, it's not a pretty sight. If we had our black lights, we'd all go crazy. We know hotels are a, a, a bed for uh, germs. We realize it. But at the end of the night, you got to lay your head down on the pillow, hope there's no bed bugs, and get your rest. So this is interesting. This is kind of a conundrum for those of us who like to think we're germ aware. You think you're doing a good thing pushing the button with your knuckle. Then you scratch your eye. You pretty much just were counterproductive. So my advice is just push the button the right way and live on. So question, how many people in the audience here have hand sanitizer with them tonight or in their car? Yeah? That's just crazy. I don't think we have to go that far. No, just kidding. <laughs> Trust me, I do. What I find is that you want to be practical about it. There's only a few places where you really probably need to use hand sanitizer as a no-brainer. Obviously, you're shaking lots of hands, whatever. But there's one place where it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring hand sanitizer. In fact, it's inspired by a true story, and that would be the bowling alley. That's right. Think about those three little holes, those balls, dirty balls and holes, Ugh. you know? It's really kind of freaky. But I'm not saying you can't enjoy bowling. You know, I like a good game every now and then. What I don't like is people who eat popcorn while they're bowling. True story. This lady's eating popcorn. She's bowling a few frames. She has a few more handfuls of popcorn. You got to wonder what's really going in her mouth besides popcorn. I'm just saying. Now, this is interesting. I love that grocery stores started putting cart wipes by the front door. Again, those of us in this germ awareness club feel more normal when everybody's got a canister of cart wipes. You know, if your kid's licking that, you know, you're probably out of luck anyways. But my advice is be realistic. You know, this reminds me of my childhood. And, you know, as a kid, sure, we all got our M&Ms or candy out of those little machines. And I doubt anybody went in and scrubbed them all. And I'm here to live and uh, tell you that I made it through it. We all made it through our childhood. And the reality is, you know, you don't want to overreact. Germs are everywhere, and as I say, I'm a little or I guess a lot more germ aware than some people, but I also get out and live my life. But then there are those people out there who would say, you know, you need more germs. You don't need hand sanitizer. You should, you know, welcome the germs. It'll make you stronger. It'll make you uh, healthier. To you, I say, you're crazy. Let's not get carried away, right? Let's be realistic. But the bottom line is enjoy your life. Don't let the germs freak you out. I appreciate your time, and thank you for listening to my observations on the germy world. Thank you.